All I know is where I'm from All these bitches, they be thoughts of free They try to hit my phone, I just block them out Need a tree No, I can't love these hoes They just want me cause my pockets be I'm calling the police right now Woo! Today we wanted to get some food, but like all these fast food restaurants, they just, it's just not good enough. Like you think I'm like a peasant, you think I'm gonna eat like a cheeseburger or something? Like it is not up to our standards, not near fancy enough. To solve that problem, we decided like, I guess we're just gonna have to go in there and uh, cook the food ourselves. So we're gonna be taking some steaks into uh, fast food restaurants today and uh, going in and cooking steak because they're not fancy enough. It's gonna be a ton of fun, but right now we need some supplies. So we're at Walmart to get an apron and some steak. Let's see what our options are. You think in the zebra one? Come on, this is this is hilarious. This is one size fits most. Yeah. So like, this is for a woman, but like, and I don't mean that in like a sexist way. This is like actually for a woman, I swear. <laughs> Never mind. maybe it's not. I thought like the model had boobs, but like, I I'm just gonna quit talking before I cancel myself. So I actually got inspired by my boy Lefty. He did a fake pit bull in public prank. He kind of looks like pit bull, like not really at all. So he went out in public and tricked everyone into thinking he was pit bull. Thanks to him, I thought of the idea. I look nothing like Jack Harlow, but like if this video gets 250 likes, I'll try to grow out a little bit of a beard and I'll go be Jack Harlow in public and see if we can get any people to fall for it. So if you guys want to see that, like the video. Do you think I could go for Jack Harlow? Like, looks like my nail is. tech know how to keep a little secret. I don't wish for my success, I speak it. I don't know who he is. Uh, Even though we're like acting all bougie, you know we're gonna buy like the cheapest steak they have. We're not about to buy some like expensive steak. We buy like these little tiny ones. That might be the move, honestly. <laughs> uh, we're, we're making a school project. Do you know who Jack Harlow is? Yeah. You know, like uh, he makes like that one song. It's like these, Ain't heard of me, I ain't heard of you. Get the, about my face full, I murder you. Got it. Do you listen to him all the time or no? Not all, no. Not all the time, but like sometimes when you're in the mood. But I have heard of him. You have heard of him? Oh, um, excuse me, I accidentally sucked my wiener into the self-checkout machine. You have a good day. Thanks, you guys have a great day. Fist bump. <laughs> Rock on. We officially have met up with the Bra brothers in a Goodwill parking lot, but I have a surprise for them uh, for the video we're filming, so. It's not that cool or anything, but. <laughs> Since they gotta dress up all fancy, you know, we had to come through with the suit jacket, so. I present to you a suit jacket <laughs> that I went in Goodwill and bought. <laughs> I even put my pants on. <laughs> Have you ever been to hibachi? Yes, plenty of times. Excuse me, sir. Did you want a steak? What's that? Did you did you want any steak? It's free on the house. This food's just like not fancy enough. You know what I mean? This is my client right here. Okay. Mr. Williams. Is this part of a battle? Oh no, their food isn't fancy enough. We would never eat something like that. That's not to our standards, sir. How do you like your steak? Medium rare. Medium rare. I'll cook you up one after this, okay? All right. Do they know that you're doing this? Who? McDonald's? Yeah. Oh no. You have a good day, sir. I'm gonna leave this on a low simmer. I'll be right back. I uh, have to get some special items, okay? Do you guys have any A1, like steak sauce or no? I was just like cooking for my client over there, Mr. Williams, uh, and he wanted some, but thank you. All right, sir, here you go. Where is my plate? Enjoy. Thank you. Here you go, sir. I'll just set this on this napkin for you. Yeah, set it right there. You enjoy, okay? Rock on. We have a little bit extra if you, if you wanted it. Did you cook? No, that's okay. I'm, no, thank you. No, that's all right, no. Part of being bougie is sharing with my, my friends. I understand that. I'm fine. Location number two, Burger King. Take a seat, sir. Oh, we're, we're, we're making some food. You're making what? We're, oh, we're just, I'm cooking for him. Did you want anything? We have like fillets. All right. What? Hey, turn that camera off. You're not allowed to have a camera. Yeah, my papa owns this establishment. It's okay. Who does? My papa. Who's your papa? Ruben. No. Sandwich? No. We have more than one. Like, I can. No, you guys need to leave or I will be calling the cops. Ashley, call the cops. You guys cannot do that in here. But it's like a restaurant. Turn that camera off right now or I'm going to shut it off. And I will. Don't touch the camera. We I will, we will leave. I need to get out. Okay, we are, but we have to pack up in an orderly fashion. I'm yeah. sorry, sir. I paid a lot of money. Well, your papa does not own this place. I know who owns it. He owns like the majority of the franchises around here. Mr. Rubin? No, I, no. 
My papa is gonna be very frustrated with this kind of service. The lady said something to Aiden as we were she leaving. I feel a little crack of like three sandwiches and I just see your face. Like a little square, she goes, smoke another bowl. Guys, if you don't know what Aiden looks like, this is probably why she said that. <laughs> I don't ever laugh when we're doing pranks, but when he said his dad's name was Ruben Sandwich, I almost lost it. Well, I like so hard to keep it straight. Dude, I literally had to look away. I started laughing. Location number three, we're taking my good sir to Wendy's. Let's see how this goes. I'm growing impatient. I'm sorry. Second. Just give me a moment, okay? What? What is going on? Oh, this is my client. Good afternoon. I'm sorry. Good afternoon. Okay, you have permission from Wendy's to do that inside of Wendy's? My mother owns this establishment. My mother does not own this establishment, but the person that owns our establishment lives in Texas. That's my mother. Ma'am. You don't know. I'm preparing steak for him. I, I have enough for all, all of us to go around. Would you like some? We have, we're preparing steak. We have enough to go around for everyone. Like, I, I can totally make you some. Do you, how do you- Do not record me, because I will call the police on you. Turn it off. Okay, put it down. Turn it off. Would you like some steak? Because we, I'm preparing, we're preparing some for my client. Your parents don't own this company. I know who owns this company. What, what is your, what is, the, what is the company's name? Wendy's. No. Yes. The company that owns this franchise. Oh, we own multiple franchises. What is the name? My mother's name is Wendy. No. You're Wendy Tom Wendy Thomas' daughter. Son. Well, Wendy apostrophe S is the name. I have no notification from any higher ups that you are coming. We can prepare food for everyone. We we're just How gonna you prepare food in here. Well we're cooking we're cooking steak for my client. That that's like what we're doing okay, today. Well, you need no. I I will be back. She was a show, so I'll show. You know, I gotta come out with a shotgun. Y'all gotta go. Y'all can't have team with me. We will leave. Yeah, now they want to call the police. Here. Okay. We do a I'm cooking here. show. I don't care. It's not here. Go find somewhere. Do what I tell you. Not sure. I don't want to work. Sir. Find the work. Or I'm okay. calling the police. Right I'm now. calling the police right now. Thank you. Let's dip. Get out of here now.